Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome back to Ronin. And uh, today we're trying out the Shuriken Rain uh, in the third level. So let's see how that goes. Which level was that? That's the one where I have to kill the old man. Yeah, okay. So that's the final of the first chapter. Or chap chapter. Chapter, sure. Uh, well, it's the epilogue, kind of. Uh, is there another way of getting in here? Uh, you can go through that window. Which is probably a good idea, not completely necessary though. Now let's go let's go in from the front. Um, I don't wanna go around. It takes a while to get through there. So we do this. Kill him. Jump down here. Kill him. Yeah, this fight is easy enough. Get a limit break, sweet. Ah, oh, damn it, we cannot kill him yet, but that's fine. Jump up here. And mesh him, him out of the window. Uh, he might survive that. Let's kill him. To be sure. I want to use uh, the Shuriken Rain. So let's actually jump to end up in the midair. Bam, okay. Okay, so that would hit everyone. Um, if there would be more than one target. So that's good to know how that works. You have to be midair. Uh... Wasn't there? No, okay, apparently we don't hack this thing. <laughs> uh, I guess we just uh, go up here from room. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember that. So, okay, this is, room is a little tricky without the stealth kill. It's possible without the stealth kill, but it's easier with it because you just wait for him to get up here. Um, the problem is that if this. Basically, you have to kill him while this door is closed because if you kill him. Um, if you don't have the self kill and the door is open, they will hear it and come over and see the dead body and then call the alarm. So, you want to avoid that. Uh, is there something else here? No. Um, I'm not sure what this room is being is there for. I don't know. And up comes the first hard fight in the game. Uh, I have a good technique for that fight though. Normally, let's see if I can pull it off. So the problem is we have a samurai here and one gunman here up here and one guard down here, and that's potentially dangerous. And the trick I've used in my last playthrough is jump up here, which allows me to kill that guy. Because the problem is you can't kill them because of the samurai, normally. But um, if you do it like this, you can go through it. That's in general a really good trick if you jump below someone so you can kill them by jumping up because you dodge bullets while killing him. That's always a good technique, normally. I wonder if I can stun the samurai. Probably not. Oh, that's very lucky. He jumped into the air, which means he could not attack me for one turn. Um, which allowed me to kill the other guard. So this should be... Well, not easy, but possible now. Where will he end up? Like here? I want to be close to him. Oh, he ends up up there? Okay. Well, I guess we just jump there then. Because the Zemura guys are really hard to deal with. You have to stun them. And uh, we, if you jump through them, they will instantly kill them if they're not stunned. And then you have to finish them off. And their attack, like their cooldown is really low. They attack you every turn, basically, um, without running out of ammo. And uh, yeah, it's really dangerous. Well, okay, the, the normal guards attack you every turn as well until they have to reload. But the difference is that uh, you cannot stun the samurai. Easy by jumping through him because if you jump into him, then he just kills you. <laughs> so that's a problem. So we killed the old guy, very anticlimactic. But the final fight of this mission is coming up with two samurais in this room, which can get a little dodgy. So we again, we will try the same technique. We will try to get over here. Okay, that's a little dodgy because I have to get there without touching the samurai. Okay, worked. Uh, I hope that gunman doesn't kill me, but I should be fine. Because he crouches. Oh, nice! Wait, what happens if I do that? Do I fall down? I think I drop down if I do that. That would be perfect. Let's try. Yeah, very good. Nice. Yeah, let's do shuriken. Why not? Okay, doesn't stun the samurai. Okay, that sucks. Um, that's potentially a small problem. Let's go over here. He will be unstunned now, which sucks, but we can stun him. Sometimes you can kill the guards by 
pushing them into the samurais. That's always fun if you manage to do that. To do that. That was actually probably not the best strategy ever. I cannot kill him because then the samurai kills me, so that's bad. Uh, let's try something like this. Whoa. Um, <laughs> no, that's not working out. Damn it. Let's get both samurais in the air. Oh, he's not attacking me for some reason. Okay, now he is. Weird. Okay, both samurais in the air. Perfect. That allows me to kill the guard. And, uh, okay, the shuriken rain doesn't help, if I remember correctly. Uh, how do we get rid of the samurais? They're so annoying. Uh, I guess we can do something like this to stun him. And then hopefully somehow get him as well by maybe... Actually, no, we don't have to. We can just kill him. Oh, yeah, that will, that will work. Okay, if you jump to him, he will jump up here and will be mid-air. So he will not attack us next turn, so we can kill that samurai. So we can just go over here. He's mid-air, cannot attack. We kill the other one. And now it should be fairly easy to kill him as well. Let's just get up here. Uh, he's not gonna die from that fall. You can make them jump out of windows and fall down and die. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> I don't want to make that jump because I think I die. I think I cross lines with him mid-air. Actually, I don't. Wait, no, I don't because I always move before them, right? Well, not exactly before them, but it, it kind of worked anyway. And he's dead. There we go. So that's the first tough mission in this game, I think, because it includes samurais. But uh, it worked out. And it has one tricky kill, like killing that guy. If you don't, like if you're not completely used to the mechanics in this game, you have to be, it's a little tricky to kill that guy without raising the alarm here. But as I said, if you don't have to stealth kill, just make sure the door is closed when he is in here and you kill him, uh, because then they don't hear the sound of you killing him, I think. And then you can sneak out there without getting noticed. Oh yeah, and you have to jump actually on the motorcycle. Jumping over the motorcycle doesn't work. That works in gunpoint, so <laughs> that's a big difference in those two games. No, no, it's one of the small differences, but the games are pretty different. They just look similar from the, and the jumping mechanics similar. So we could get this point uh, in order to go for Shadow Strike, but the thing is that this point doesn't do anything yet, so I just save it up and use use it when we have to. I could do it, it doesn't make a big difference, but if I if I get another skill point, or if I think in the next mission, oh, damn it, I need that skill first, then I could still use that point. So I will not use it now, because it doesn't do anything for me. So, that's uh, mission three, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I'm TH Pine, thanks a lot for watching, have fun, and see you next time.